Hello and welcome back to another Forgotten Hope tutorial. In this video I'm going to talk about planes. And planes are part of combined arms warfare of course, but they are not present on all maps. I'll talk about how to fly a plane and how to kill enemies with it and maybe some tips and tricks. And I'm starting out with the types of planes that we have in Forgotten Hope 2. There are no big bomber planes in Forgotten Hope 2 because they are used in a strategic uh, way and the maps that are portraying the battles in Forgotten Hope 2 are more on a tactical level. So um, there are fighter planes like uh, this one here, the Messerschmitt 109. And our dive bombers, like this one here, the Junkers 87 Stuka. And this is just another variant of the Stuka. And um, these planes can play a vital role in winning the map. Okay, so um, let's start with the fighter. The fighter is a plane which is designed to... Uh, shoot down other planes and it can strafe ground targets and by that I mean that you can use the cannons and the machine guns to shoot at infantry on the ground but most fighters don't carry any bombs now this one does and therefore this is also called a fighter bomber okay so when you hop into a, a plane, just like in any other vehicle, you press E and uh, the canopy will close. It's open right now, as you can see here. And it will close automatically. And when you take off, you will see that the landing gear will be uh, retracted into the plane's body. And that's not the case for all planes, as you will see later with the Stuka, because those wheels will also always stick out. And, um, and th there are various speeds in which you can fly, of course. You can gain speed by gaining altitude first and then dive down, or you can just uh, keep flying in a straight line for a while and gaining speed that way most difficult part of flying the plane is landing just like in real life i would uh, say and um yeah well let's just take uh, take this one for a little flight the entry point is almost always about here and you can see that the inner part of the cockpit you can look around while pressing left control and you can also use that while you're in the air. You can look around like this to maybe um, spot an enemy plane trying to chase you. Uh, all those uh, numbers in the cockpit, they are static. They are just uh, for uh, uh, having a nice look. But the numbers below in the HUD they uh, actually do count. They are indicating speed and altitude, the one on the right. You can see that there's uh, 200 bullets in the machine gun. And it overheats just like a regular machine gun. And there's also, this is left mouse button by the way. And uh, right mouse button is the cannon. 20 millimeter cannon and it shreds planes apart. I'm not an AZ flying at all so I regularly forget about this cannon but you can use it and in the air there's also alternative controls uh, space bar for uh, machine gun and right control no You have to select the weapon, uh, just like in the weapon menu, with mouse scroll and click. Or with the numbers, 1, 2. So let's put it on 1 for now. 
Okay, let's go forward. You can see that the throttle is going up on the right in the HUD. And I'm reloading in the airfield. Gap is closing. The speed is going up. 350, 60, 70. And the altitude is also going up as I'm ascending into the air. Okay. Now I'm flying in the plane in a kind of a straight line. The, the meter on the left says something about how I have my plane positioned. Uh, if it's level, like this, or if it's tilted to the left or the right. Um, yeah, usually you don't really need it because you can see it yourself that it's tilted because of the horizon. Um, okay. When you fly around, you can see that there's OOB on the on the map. It's the it's this area where I'm flying into now, and the OOB will kill you if you are in on the ground and you go in in, uh, in the OOB out of bounds area for too long. Get a counter. There's a special OOB for planes. Look how far I can fly into the normal OOB. There is a counter for when you go outside the map though, like this one. And then you just have to return really quickly. Um, okay, so this is just flying straight. You can gain altitude by going, doing, uh, putting the nose up. Put the nose up is down arrow and put the nose down is up arrow and I'm flying with keyboard right now which means that I use uh, WASD and W to throttle S to reverse throttle and A and D are my um, tail flap you can see that in the external camera this is the external camera, the change camera, and when I press A, you can see the tail flap. This is pressing D, A, D, and when I want to turn fast, I have to press right arrow, then down arrow, left arrow, left arrow, down arrow, right arrow, down arrow. Okay, so this is how you fly the plane in very simple terms. You do funny tricks, like this is a barrel roll. Just keep pressing the right arrow. Don't forget to get out of the roll in time, <laughs> or you'll crash. F9 is cockpit view, like this. This is where you can use the control view. I'm doing that right now. So F9, F10, chase cam, F11, front chase cam, don't use that too often, only when I'm getting out of a dive, see if I hit the target with the bomb. Oh, and when you're in the crosshair view like this, you can't change cameras, F10, 11 does nothing right now. And when I'm out of the crosshair view, I can change cameras whenever I like. So I was just aiming at an AA gun. AA guns are your worst enemies when you're flying a plane. You can be killed by AA guns by some specialized weapons like the Marmon Harrington. It also has a 20 mil gun. The Sonica Fighter uh, 222 also has a 20 mil gun. They uh, are pretty dangerous against planes. But machine guns can also down planes. And you can be shot out of a cockpit if you're not lucky and the guy shooting is. You could notice that I uh, used the crosshair. And the crosshair is... Um, uh, you get the crosshair by pressing X.
Okay. So now we go with the Stuka. Uh, same thing. Machine gun. And this one has bombs. And it has two. It has four 50 kilo bombs or one 500 kilo bomb. And usually the 500 kilo bomb gives the best results. So uh, let's go. In the Stuka, I'm going to demonstrate the dive bombing. And for that, you can also use the shift key. Left shift is the air brake. First, let's gain some altitude. If you're out of ammo, you can reload by flying over the air airfield, just at the low altitude, not too fast. You will, when you will um, lower your speed, the canopy will open again, even if you're not planning to get out. You can only reload at your own airfield. And be aware that uh, sometimes there are vehicles or people on the airfield that kill them while you're reloading. I'm pretty high up right now, I guess. I can check in F9 view. My altitude is... Yeah, it's pretty high. And I can also check in front nose cam. I only see air. So that means that I'm so high up that people can't see me from the ground anymore. And now I'm going to bomb a target at the right flag, right for British flag. So I'm stopping the throttle, putting the nose down, I'm pressing shift. Oops, this is a bit too close on the throttle. Um, and now you can hear that famous Stuka horn sound. You can hear it when you don't press the throttle and are going in a dive. But this dive was not very good. Make sure that you don't do what I did just now and keep enough speed to get away from uh, ground fire after you drop the bomb. Stuka is best at these vertical dive bombings and uh, it's also the lowest chance of getting hit by an AA gun or a machine gun. You can of course try and do some horizontal bombing runs but they are far more dangerous. Okay, this is useful for the front nose cam to check if your bomb landed somewhere where you wanted it. Don't forget to switch weapons now. And I actually bombed the tank. successfully bomb the AT gun. There is a third way in which you can kill enemies and that is called wing clipping. It's, uh, it's just that you fly really low and you just uh, hit enemies with your wings. It's not easy, but it can be done. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's not so easy. So and now we have to return to the base to get new bombs, because without the bombs, the Stuka is not really useful. It's slower than the fighters, and the fighters will have a nice feast preying on this flying brick. Just lower your altitude, lower your speed.
and you're done. And if you're actually done, as in you don't want to fly anymore, you just return to the base, lower your speed. Making turns is also very good to lower speed. But this was not the best way to show a landing. Okay. So let's take a look at some other types of planes that we have in the mod. also a very good way to lower your speed and press S and it will stop and now it's safe to get out press E and you're out of your plane and you made a successful landing very nice okay so let's take a look at the other types of planes in the mod the British get a Hawker Hardy, which is an old-fashioned biplane, but it has a bunch of bombs. And it can take out the Italian tanks or the AA or AT positions. The British also get a Hurricane with AT cannons, so this plane is pretty good at taking out tanks. But not with bombs, but with cannons. Make sure your map is zoomed out to the max, so you can, you can spot when your targets are about to get inside. Here, this shows how devastating this thing can be. By the way, I'm showing these uh, destroying of vehicles in main bases. Don't do that on multiplayer surface. Uh, servers um, because you can only attack fixed emplacements in the main base and not vehicles. The Germans get the Stuka Kanonenvogel and it works actually a bit like the hurricane I showed earlier. These cannons are meant to destroy the T-34 tanks of the opponent. The Canadians get the Spitfire and the Hawker Typhoon, which is a rocket plane. You can see eight rockets, heavy cannons, That was a tank. The Soviets get the Lavochkin fighter and the IL-2 Sturmovic plane. There are two types of the Sturmovic. One with a bomb and this one has rockets. And this one has the bomb. And there's also the recon plane, the Stor. And the recon plane has a special function. It doesn't have any weapons, but it has a radar, as you can see on the map. So if it flies over a certain position, it will show the enemy assets and the enemy units. So 
on the battlefield. So if you zoom in, you can see the enemy units appear in the radar. Yeah, not at the moment, because this is an empty server, but you get the idea, the enemies will pop up in red. some other functionality in the store, other recon planes, that in the second seat uh, has binoculars for spotting for artillery. Step 2 to get in the seat, right click, left click to spot, and you can actually self-spot as a pilot if you want to. a nice spot for artillery on the minimap. Weaponry for this plane, but it's very useful. Another type of plane is the transport plane. It's on invasion of Crete and it's actually the Junkers 52 and it's a cargo plane. It can hold several players and they can jump out of it with parachute kits that they also get in the spawn menu on this map. Remember that you have to take the pilot kit on any other map to get a parachute. And this one is, this is the pilot seat and you can sit here in the plane together with your buddies uh, on your way to Crete to jump out. And this plane also doesn't have any weapons, it's just as a means to get to the island and drop on it as a Fallschirmjäger. Before you take off you can see that the door is opened so the Fallschirmjäger can jump out. And when you take off you can close the door by pressing left shift. And you have to keep it pressed to keep the door closed. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or remarks, please post them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.